Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dent Deck, and today we're playing some more Game Medieval. So, in our last episode, we got Stephen to finish the entire outer moat. Congratulations, Stephen. Job well done there, my dude. Um, but now, well, actually, it, it doesn't begin an even bigger task. I am going to dig this out and this out just because OCD reasons. Um, we should probably, for the sake of, like, right now, just leave that like that and then dig it out here at a time. Otherwise, these are going to get stuck in the middle and we don't want that. Um, yes, we've got no reason to leave the game paused. Yeah, we've finished the outer wall. Hopefully, they're going to finish the pathways inside soon. We're starting to knock through to where our new farming area is going. Actually, they're already through. That didn't take long. Uh, yeah, we're already getting through to our new farming area. And by the way, we can have a direct path straight into the pantry if I want. I'd do it from inside the walls, but I could dig down in here and have a pathway that just joins in. Are we getting ready for some more food? If I'm doing what I'm about... Well, yeah. Let's just copy these. Build these all down here. I'm not going to build them all the other side because that's like already a thousand wood or so. But yeah, I was thinking about it as my outro was rolling. I could have some stairs going down in here as well. I was going to say, where, where's my, my, my floor gone? Some stairs going down in here that go directly into the pantry. So when they've finished harvesting here, they can go down there and they've not got to go through here, across, down, and then drop it off and then come back up. It'll be easier that way. So, more farming, you say? Yes, we want more farming. So. Pathway would go up there. That's 10 by 10 right there. I think I like the idea of that. I don't want to go ridiculously over the top with it. It's like this one. I want this to be 5 by 10 and 5 by 10. That just joined them all as one, didn't it? That is not what I wanted, you camel. One, two, three, four, five. Just pause it a second. And then we'd want... How wide is this? Twelve. That actually works out very nicely. Uh, carrots. We'd want... Five by ten there. Five by ten there. Then this is all going to be for berries. Then we want beets here, and it'd go 5 by 10, and 5 by 10 like that. Um, then I think we'd have a 5 by 10. You know what? I could actually replicate this gatehouse on every single side. For now, we're going to leave it and we're going to do one, but I think that'd look dead nice. Have I got cabbages? Cabbages, carrots, berries, beets, bears, beets, Battlestar Galactica. Anybody? What series is that from? Answers on postcards, please. Uh, we've done flax, we've done carrots, we've done... We need barley, we need herbs. You know what? I actually think we're not going to do this like this. I mean, this is going to cut that in hot. Yeah. Um, we're not going to have that many berries because that's just ludicrous. Excuse me. Berries here. And then we can have herbs here. Herbs here. And then that just leaves the barley down this end. Actually, in that case, no. This one would be better being barley and barley. 
this one would be better being herbs. Okay, right. So, cabbages for now. We don't need to wait for the going to seed because we've got like 600 flipping seeds. So, that can stay as ripe, that can stay as ripe. This can go as going to seed. I know we've got this in here as well, but... That can be going to seed. This one can be... This could be ripe, but don't sow yet. Red currant shrubs is... I mean, ripe is fine, ripe is fine, ripe is fine, ripe is fine. Um, beets needs to be going to seed, and this needs to be ripe, but don't sow yet. That can be ripe, that can be ripe. That's basically our farm. If I wanted to expand it, I'd do this round the next corner again. A uni blah, blah, blah. A Yumi's tailoring's gone up again. That's uh, nice. Have we got any honey coming in yet? They get in there. I mean, Aqua is doing these basically on her own at the minute. Please stop the pies rotting and stuff. It's because they're um, upstairs in here. Why are they not hauling the rotten stuff off of here? I say I don't want rotten stored in here. When, when this says waste, it does mean rotten meat, vegetable rot. Doesn't it all sound lovely? Uh, but yeah, we've set them even more mammoth jobs up to do. These walls, by the way, aren't just going to be one high. I don't know how high I want to make them. I don't know if I want to go like four high and have like an absolutely gargantuan wall all the way around my base. I think that could be a nice idea. I think that could look pretty cool. Looking at it now, this space that we've got out here really isn't that big. I mean, it is, don't get me wrong. It's a large space, but it's not like the biggerest. Um, Steven will start working on the, uh, the serpentine soon. It looks like he's already started, as long as we don't take this middle bit out here. What I might do, actually... We can come two tiles off of this, can't we? Cancel that one. No, don't cancel them, actually. Leave them to be dug out still. I think I want to have a pillar coming up here. And a pillar coming up here. So I can have a beam coming across there and a beam coming across here. Because then I'll be able to have at least a wall and then a two wide walkway across the front of this. I want them to be able to get all the way around it. I could probably do something similar this side as well, but I don't want to build these areas back up. No, this will be fine how it is. Yeah, Steven should be able to reach everything from where he is. The added bonus of having this mo literally the entire way around the base is they're never going to attack my walls, mainly because they can't reach the bloody things. How are you doing with these um, shelving units? You've basically finished. Well, that is just wonderful. We're going to get more food coming in, so how are we doing for wood? We're down to 600. That's fine. Stimulants are a little bit low, but is to be expected. I think we actually want to duplicate these. Now that we've got it all moved up. Animal handling's up to a 12. Doesn't that mean we've got honey coming in? Where would honey be? Wouldn't be in seeds. Medicine? Oh. Tallow? Has she even harvested any honey at the minute? Hmm. Preparing bee skep.
Where does honey? I wonder. Is it food? Raw. It comes under raw. So we've not actually got any yet then. That's fine. I don't expect it to be a quick process, but as soon as we can get some in, I think we might set this up straight away, you know, to be mead. Resource produced, mead and ash, and that gets us 10 of each. I mean, we could start doing ale. Eventually, it's annoying that there's... Um, six at uh, five different types and we've got six i think i'd have two for rough wine then one for cider one for ale one for mead and one for beer we can't do beer just yet not until we've got the herbs going properly but that should be happening sometime soon yeah they can all be planted at the minute this is actually very difficult to get to can I get you to prioritize, like, one pathway across here, please? I mean, she did exactly what I told her to, but that's still quite annoying. God damn it, Raven. We have used a lot of bricks. We need to get the quarry going soon. I'm just wondering if... Oh, bad time to fail. I'm just wondering if this means... Could you do one more just to make sure we're across? If this means they'll actually come and start doing the farm now. Where are we on the uh, the old research front, shift, folks? It's been a while. You've got 20 of the textbooks. Thank you, autosave. Just what I've always wanted. How's the, uh, the library doing at this point? Are we... Um, I want to go up one. We have got some books on the floor. These are all chronicles. We have got some textbooks as well. I think we need to start lining out our next wall. In fact, you know what? Let's just go full ham. Line out all of these walls. It's alright, if there's any gaps around downstairs, which I highly doubt it, um, we'll have some bookshelves down here as well later on. I'm, I'm not bricking this area yet. We're going to leave that for quite some time. Ayumi's still producing. I still think she's stuck in the endless loop of bricks. Bless her. I mean, she's trying. She really is trying. We've got more wood coming in. That is wonderful news. It's like 800 there. See, we're now going to get to the stage where our wood is just going to keep flowing in. I'd prefer you to get this bit round the back done, guys, honestly. I'd really prefer you to get the bit round the back done. It doesn't actually matter when Stephen gets this bit done at this point. Um, although I would like to copy this. And just so I remember. So let's call that one, two, three. You know what? It's going to be so much building if I go four. This is going all the way around four times. Well, technically, well, all of it, yeah. I think we can do it. Once we get the quarry up and running properly, Stephen's not going to have to keep running backwards and forwards everywhere. This is going to be loads nicer. Um, just for now, I don't want to accidentally cancel all the gardens. I want to just cancel these paths for now. Just for now, so I can get paths coming out in other directions. Um, let's destroy that one and that one. I actually destroyed the wrong ones here. I meant to destroy that one. And I meant to destroy that one. Build that one back up. And build that one back up. And copy me this. Copy me this. On the pathways running down level with that. And down level with that. 
What did I just do? I don't want it to just be a single pillar. That looks daft. Yeah, like I say, reinforced walls will go in the middle eventually. Um, that is good there. And then destroy, destroy. Uh, destroy, destroy. Like I say, this is where they've come up with new tech where they can bridge across small moats. And they just absolutely flummox me. But now the village is opening up. We're, uh, we're able to get out to these areas. Just bridge across enough. Because the next thing I really want to focus on is the outer walls. Research available. Good man. Hello, lone traveller. God damn it, stop giving me traders. I thought we'd got a, um, a new dude. And that's all of our little bridges going out. Let's have a look what research we've unlocked. Ice making. A wooden box to hold water as it freezes generates ice for the settlement. I think I'll pass on that one for now. I think there's more useful things we can get rather than ice. See, I also think I'm going to have to build floors around too high. Because it's alright them reaching up two floors. How am I going to build this pillar up four high? I guess I could build a stairway. Stephen, you are digging this in all weird sorts of ways. Why do these look damaged as well? Please don't damage these. Yeah, I'd like it if you got these pathways around the back done here, please. would be nice um jobs sir oak what harvesting cut plants you're never getting round to doing what you need to be doing he's not planting anything because he's not getting chance uh, Shifo's cooking and then he's research. That's why Shifo's not been researching. That is my bad. Cossack, what are you doing? You're constructing, then you're hauling. Then you're tailoring. I don't I don't think I need you on tailoring anymore, my dude. Let's have you doing that next as well. I mean, there's still a load of constructing to be done, so um Yeah, he's he's not going to be doing any of that stuff anytime soon. I love it. This, I must say it like once every few episodes or so. This base is so much better thought out than my last one. I mean, there is 770 wood left around. It's just we need hauling being done. And Aqua's now kind of stuck. Just making honey for us. I need dedicated haulers, like actual dedicated haulers. Steven does tend to haul once he's finished doing all this, but Aqua was the main hauler. Holy crap, she's gone to sleep early. Must have been a busy day. The band of the She-Wolf is leaving. Okie dokie. Um... I'd rather not have a herd of wolves inside my base. See, this is why we need doors along here, because these wolves are going to get inside the base. Hmm. I didn't think I was that bothered if this got done quickly or not, but now I am, I am kind of bothered. Uh, Ravens haul into stockpile. Sir Oaks harvesting resources. Because they're out of bricks, I think they're getting round to the hauling now. Should I not be too concerned about it? Mining is a 40, dude. 
Stimulants at 28. Meals still aren't there. We do need more meat, amusingly. Because I've not got any of my um, gardens going properly yet. Well, this is going to be silly. Um, everybody's asleep. Let's wait until the morning. We're going to murder all these wolves. We're going to try and murder all these wolves. I'm going to be devastated if we lose this. You know what, actually? I'm going to get everybody to come outside here and shoot across because then they've got to run all the way back round. Yes, that's what we'll do. And then we've got loads of meat. Fingers crossed. We've got this. Come on. Any new researchers? Nope, just ice. All the time, I've let Aqua just run around hauling things. I've um, I've grown accustomed to her just doing that. Kind of a bit lost with that, her just doing that now because things are piling up everywhere. Is anybody else able to haul like immediately? If there's no construction, Raven does it. Shifo is always going to be cooking or researching, so he's at. Uh, Sir Oak is a very very busy man. Um, Dak is cooking carpentry and then he's doing like mainly the crafting. Stephen is digging absolutely the entire planet up. I think after that, Stephen, I need you hauling. Please. And then you can harvest after. Sir Oak and Shifo can manage this vine for now. I want Shifo researching, otherwise I'd drop this down to a two and get him to help, but it'll be fine. Cusack's kind of helping with that anyway. Once he's done constructing, he does hauling, then he does the plant stuff. Yeah. Alright, is everybody awake? Sir Oak is sleeping. I want to wait till Sir Oak's up as well. In fact, it'll be even better. If they um, finish digging this out. In fact, they're going to run straight into here. Tell you what. Everybody bought Sir Oak. He's very nearly up. I don't want him to get trapped in there on his own. Dude, get up. Get out of here quickly. They're literally just going to run inside. Oh, hello. An island traveller shuffled Holton into Castle Dak, given time to recuperate. She claims she could work, but in the moment they look pretty rough. Yeah, we can have somebody else come in. You're brilliant at marksman and culinary. That might free Shifo up to get just research being done. Who have we got over here? We have got Hilary Bollard. Um, who can Hillary be then? Let's just have a quick look at Discord. So we're down to GMR. Yellow time. I think, actually, our next person is a very recently new Patreon. Um, oh, no capital, actually. Oh, I can't do an underscore. Will it let me do a space? It will let me do a space. Apologies, Miss Andy. No underscore, but I think a space will do. Not enough beds available. That is fine. Um, everybody needs to go free because the wolves have just yeeted back out. Stephen, I'd really like you to dig these out now, but everybody's going to go and relocate stuff and whatnot. Um, beds. <clears throat> this is going to get a little bit awkward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
Frick. <clears throat> um, let's copy these. And one, two, three. And copy this. One, two, three. And one, two, three. I could actually go four. So when it comes to this... Because now we can load all the armor racks up, which is actually good because I can get the ones off the floor that are annoying the crap out of me. Um, but beds is still a problem. We're going to have to just do a makeshift one for now. Um, you're going to have to sleep right next to the fire. So I hope you like it toasty. I could actually go like that as well. I'm just trying to leave it so that they can walk through still. <clears throat> yeah, do me a couple more beds like that as well. Right, jobs. Miss Andy, jobs. What do we want you doing? Yes. Absolutely want you hunting. Uh, no on construction. Cooking. Hauling. I'm not bothered about you doing anything else. Yeah, that should be good. You're a hunter, you're a cook, you're a hauler. I'm good with that. Your schedule. Let's make sure you're not a night owl or anything weird. You're fleet-footed. Um, one step ahead, a long legs and rapid stride are the reason. Movement is brilliant. Nice. Um, we have got Benevolent, so your speech craft is up by five, and a Lord of Misrule, so you like to play jokes on everybody. Dear, think you're funny? Punk? It's fine. Um, neutral, and you are going to be a Ranger. No shield. Um, winter for now, because we're still in spring. Winter for now. No armor, all food, all stimulant, I'm not bothered about any of that. We are very, very low on food. I was meant to be killing those um, deer for a reason, wasn't I? And by deer, I mean not deer. Stephen, please dig this last one out here. I'm sick of people walking across. Thank you. Come on. No, Stephen. That's fine. They've literally got to come through all of this now. <clears throat> and I could line this with traps all the way down. Um, we can actually mine... Ruined by the autosave. We can actually mine this out across here. Raw. What have we got this raw? Red currant berries, barley and honey. You know what? I never thought to check to see if you guys were using honey for this. Use the red currants again. You're not using honey. That's fine. Um, use the red currants again. <clears throat> Just for now. Just because stimulant's not a problem at the minute. I mean, soon none of it will be a problem. 1400 wood. That's what I mean by the trees. 1500 wood. I'm tempted to just research that so it's out the freaking way. Um, we can drop that down. I mean, once Steven's got this bit done, I could always start the mine up, which I think is going to be this quadrant, shall we say, across here. Um, we're also going to leave the two wide path all the way around just so it's not a bit of a nightmare. I might have the staircases coming down from these roads as well. So it flows nicely. Isn't it just lovely to see them all eating in the dining room together? Admittedly, I'm not on the right floor for the dining room or anything like that, but you get the picture, right? Why does he go to the furthest job first? 
You do make things awkward for yourself, Stephen. You really do. <clears throat> Can I ask why we've not got any more bricks being made at the minute? Ayumi so is still on crafting duty. She's doing it. We need more people on crafting duty. I need a couple of like blacksmiths. Dank, what are you doing? You're hungry. Well, that's just marvellous. Aqua's animal leveling has gone up again. Look at all this honey! This is all beeswax, not honey. That is honey. What do we do with all the beeswax then? That's what gets turned into candles, isn't it? Used for candles and making it soothing ointments and balms. We've not unlocked the medicine table yet, so we're not doing anything soothing with anything at the minute, but... Sandy, why has it got your surname on that? Does it always bring everybody's surname up and I've just ignored everybody's surname? You did used to be an armourer. I've never read the bank stories. What are your skills? We never had a proper look, did we? Marksman, you're a seven? What the... Uh, melee's a three. Medicine's not bad. Speech craft, craft isn't bad. No, uh, generally it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Sir Oak, right. I hate to be a douche-like, but... Oh, he's like planted all of the carrots. He is getting it done. Plus like drinking, then he's going for entertainment. <sighs> Then you're going building? He's going refueling. Everybody's going refueling all the time. To be fair, I prefer all of them refueling all the time. It's just nicer. Because like, you you need to be helping. Sir Oak, do this. Drop hauling down. Drop crafting down. I need more people on uh, growing and stuff. Otherwise, we're never going to get all this planted. Yes, we're only halfway into spring. But I'd rather get in front of it. So we've only got two seasons to like grow as much food as we can. I've got plenty of crafters at the minute already. He's a level one in botany. Are you kidding me? Hey. I think it's time for cartography. And I think we will set that up now. Photography table. Right. Can I put that in the... I don't think I'm going to be able to put that in the library or the blacksmith. Um, can't have any other workstations or shrines. Armourer, bower, blacksmith, forge, woodwork, stonemason or sewing. Where can I put the cartographer's table then? Do you think we're going to use it that much? Do you think we should just put it up here out of the way? Where's it gone? Somebody help me. I've lost my cartographer's table. Bowers. Limestone. What? It's gone. Brewers, armourers, bowers, research, research, woodwork, stonemason, stowing, stowing. Research. I know it gives you a table. Cartography table. Uh, 
chest, weapon rack, bookshelf. God, it's there. God damn it. I think I might put it upstairs on this um, balcony. I think that's a bit weird, isn't it? We're going to have to build a small building or something across this way, I think, maybe. It's going to have to be a very small table uh, building. Just looking at the spacing, that leaves four and four. I'm not going to build it square in front of that. Um, I mean four this way, four this way. If I put that there, and then we can have one, two, wall, one, two, wall, one, two, wall, yeah. It's just going to be a small rectangular room, so I don't know what else we're going to need in here or if we're going to need tables or anything like that. But we'll get that made up in the next episode, see what happens with it, see if we can go and visit people or anything like that. I know we need to set caravans and stuff up to do that, but it's something that I've not used before, so it's going to be uh, fun to have a look at that. But this is, unfortunately, where we're going to have to leave this episode off. So, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. All comments and feedback greatly appreciated, as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers!